Hello ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Today I have a book in my hand and which is very important to discuss with you. The name of this book is, and it is a banned book. Uh, this is written by Napoleon Hill. The name of the book is Outwitting the Devil. This is an imaginary interview conducted by Napoleon Hill with the devil so uh, let me tell you about who was a napoleon hill napoleon hill was a great inspirational writer of its time he born in america in 1883 and he died in 1970 was born in 83 remote mountains of virginia he was born into poverty and his mother died when he was nine years old. One year later, his father remarried and his stepmother became a source of inspiration for him, for this young boy. With the influence of his stepmother, he became a newspaper editor and uh, his well-known writing is The Law of Success and he was uh, and the other think and grow rich so he remained a great writer uh, as a miracle man and, uh, and a very inspirational uh, writer so in my purpose today why that I introduce you this book of outwitting the devil this book remain, was written in 1938 and this book remained banned uh, for uh, many, many years. And recently this uh, book is published, was published um, by the uh, his, uh, uh, Napoleon Hill's uh, family. So... The thing which I'm going to point out is about the uh, training and education of young children. So during the conversation with the devil, Napoleon Hill interviewed the devil that what did thing irritates you regarding the, uh, the, the training of the children. So the devil's teach confess that these points and these teachings will irritate me badly and uh, during confession the, the devils uh, answer the napoleon hill uh, question that how to teach our children and these children these teachings are very harmful for the devil and very useful for the the life of the own children so teach the student how to budget and use time and above all teach the truth that time is the greatest assets available to human being and the cheapest one teach the student the basic motives by which all people are influenced and show how to use these motives in acquiring the necessities and luxuries of life teach children what to eat and how much to eat what is the relationship between proper eating and sound health? Teach children the true nature and function of emotion, of sex, and above all, teach them that it can be transmitted into a driving force capable of lifting one to a great height of achievement. Teach children to be definite in all things, beginning with the choice of definite major purpose of life. Teach children how habit become fixed through the law of hypnotic rhythm and influence them to adopt while in the lower grade habits that lead to the independent of thought. 
teach children the difference between temporary defeat and failure and show them how to search for the seed of an equivalent advantage which comes with every defeat. Teach children to express their own thoughts fearlessly or to accept or reject at will all ideas of others, reserving to themselves always the privilege of replying upon relying upon their own judgment. Teach children to reach decision promptly and to change them at all. Slowly and with reluctance and never without a definite reason. Teach children that the human brain is the instrument which one receives from the great storehouse of nature. The energy which is specialized into definite thought that the brain does not think but serve as an instrument for the interpretation of stimuli which cause thought. Teach children the value of harmony in their own minds and that is attainable only through self-control. Teach children the nature and the value of self-control. Teach children that there is a law of increasing return which can be and should be put into questions. Operation as a matter of habit. Teach children the true nature of golden rules. Teach children not to have opinion unless they are formed from facts or belief which may reasonably be accepted as facts. Teach children that cigarette, liquor, narcotics, overindulgence in sex destroy the power of will and lead to the habit of drifting. Do not forbid these evils. Just explain them. Teach children the danger of believing anything merely because their parents, religious instructors or someone else says it is so. Teach children to face facts, whether they are pleasant or unpleasant, without restoring to sabotage or offering alibis. Teach children to encourage the use of six sense through which ideas present themselves in their minds from unknown sources and to examine all such ideas carefully. Teach children the full import of law of compensation as it was interpreted by. Teach children the definiteness of purpose backed by definite plan persistently and continuously applied is the most efficacious form of prayer available to human beings. Teach children that the space they occupy in the world is measured definitely by the quality and quantity of useful service they render the world. Teach children there is no problem which does not have an appropriate solution and that the solution often may be found in circumstances creating the problem. Teach children that their only real limitation are those which they set up to permit others to establish in their own minds. Teach them that man can achieve whatever man can conceive and believe. Teach children that all school houses and all textbooks and element are elementary implements which may be helpful in the development of their mind, but that only school of real value is the great university of life where one has the privilege of learning from experiences. Teach children to be true to themselves at all times. And since they cannot please everybody, therefore, to be a good job of pleasing themselves. I hope you will enjoy these lines and these instructions, which is very useful for the training of the and upbringing of the, our children. Thank you very much.